What it do, cuckolds? It's your boy, the hater. And there was something that happened on Raw that really pissed me off. And this thing merits its own video. This video is not about The Miz. This video is not about Karrion Cross, The Final Testament, Bo Dallas, The Wyatts, or anything like that. This video <coughs> is about the stupidity of the long-term booking of WWE as it pertains to these people, right? This really pissed me off because it shows that the WWE title has zero meaning anymore. Nobody gives a flying fuck about it, right? And it doesn't matter if you're the champion or not, right? It, it is not an accolade anymore. And as such, the next time someone wins the WWE title, they shouldn't get emotional. And the next time someone wins the, the Intercontinental title, like Jey Uso did, and starts crying like a little girl, and then Rakishi has to stand up for his son, who's like in his 40s, or near 40s, fucking pathetic if you ask me, right? So much of grown men crying. Uh, when are they supposed to be like the, guy, the guys that are hard? Welcome to the Uso Penitentiary. It's not acceptable, motherfucks. It's not acceptable. Oh yeah, they're hard because they got tattoos. Oh, Rakishi's hard because he, he's been bleaching his hair like a 12-year-old for like the last 40 years. Fuck out of here, right? We need some men in wrestling, motherfucks. And this is an, an examination of that first and foremost. So, during the episode of Raw, The Miz basically is now playing the coward of the heel again. This is a role that fits him. It's perfectly fine. I got nothing to worry about with this, right? Then, he tries to get out of the Final Testament, but basically he can't, right? <clears throat> because the Final Testament is bullying him and telling him, if you try to get out, we're going to beat your ass, right? Meanwhile, the Wyatt family, the Wyatt Six, sorry, fuck them, the Wyatt family, same, same fucking garbage, right? The Wyatt Six now is going after The Miz and presumably the Final Testament as well. Our truth has turned his back on The Miz, understandably so. So now The Miz is fucked, right? Now here's the problem that I have with this. Karrion Cross on Raw says, if you don't go find out what, uh, what's his face, what, uh, again, Bo Dallas wants, I'm going to break your legs. And at this point, I couldn't help but think to myself, it broke my heart a little bit, I couldn't help but think to myself, if the hater were booking this, I would say, okay, this is what's going to happen. Next week, Miss TV, right? Miss TV, Bo Dallas is the guest. But instead of having Bo Dallas with the lights coming off, maybe the lights come off and Eric Rowan comes up in a rabbit mask, the Miss just gets his mic and just says, what the hell is wrong with you morons? Straight up, shoot promo, cucks. He says, what the hell is wrong with you, Eric Rowan? Look, we get it. You've never gotten over, right? You are one of the worst wrestlers of all time, right? He, he, and he could go hard. He could be like, if Brody Lee and Bray Wyatt saw what you're doing, they'd be rolling in their graves because all you do is you come back with a different mask and you humiliate yourself time and time again. Eric Rowan should be ashamed of himself. This is, this is the hater talking now. Eric Rowan should just give it up, motherfucks. It's not gonna work. It's as simple as that. It's not gonna work. Every time he comes back, he humiliates himself more. They're like, hey, here's a sheep mask. He's like, okay, he puts it on. Hey, here's a sheep mask with a tube coming out of the horn. Okay, he puts it on. Hey, here's a pet spider, so we, we present you as an even bigger retard than usual. Okay, he does it, right? Oh, here's a rabbit mask now. This guy's gotta go through all the masks. This is humiliating at a certain point, motherfucks. It's humiliating, right? The Miz should say this to him. And then he should say, Dexter Loomis, you have hair like Bob Marley, except you're fucking weird and you never got over, right? You never got over once in your life. Joe Gacy, you need to lose some weight. You look like shit. You look like a, like a lesbian, right? He has like the lesbian haircut. He could just go after them the entire time. Moving on to Nikki Cross, who basically is the female Eric Rowan. They're like, Nikki, you're not good at this. You're not good. You're not believable as a crazy person. You're too small to ever be a threat. And then he should move on to Bo Dallas and he say, look, you're a shadow. Uh, you, you are a facsimile of Bray Wyatt. You are a nothing and you used to carry my bags. You are, you are part of the B team where you belong. You were my lackey, right? And then the fans would lose their minds if he did this. Then he needs to talk to Karrion Cross and say, those goofy ass tattoos and changing your haircut doesn't change the fact that you have one emotion, cuck. You have one emotion, and that emotion is boring. And then he should say, AOP, you guys left, and you came back 45 pounds heavier each. You both look like shit. Hit the gym. Paul Ellering, nobody knows who you are. Let's not pretend that anybody remembers this guy from when he, when he managed the LOD. Nobody knows who he is. They, they know him so little that when he debuted on NXT, like Todd Phillips or whatever was like, 
oh, who is this guy? I don't know who that is. And Corey Graves probably looked at his notes and he said, Paul Ellering is going to be here. So he took out his phone, wrote Paul Ellering, and out came Paul Ellering's ass. And he's like, oh, it must be Paul Ellering. Nobody knew who the fuck this guy was until he went to NXT. So I don't want to hear this shit. Oh, he's a legendary manager. None of these guys, all these guys are shit. And then, then the miss should say, so all of you get in line, right? Because I'm not afraid of any of you. Because when, you, when it comes down to it, and this is literally what you should say, I have won more championships than everyone that I just talked about combined, including Bray Wyatt, will ever win. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it's not even close. The Miz, who is a former WWE champion, and his title run is a special one because he defended his title at WrestleMania successfully. There's like 10 people that could say that. Some more than 10, but you know what I mean. Usually the champion loses at Mania and it's a new champion. The Miz defended his title at WrestleMania, and now he's, I'm supposed to believe that he's afraid of his own lackey, B-team, B-team, go, 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 go Dallas? Have you fucking lost your mind? This is The Miz. Literally everyone else involved in this segment, literally everyone else, including Bray Wyatt, rest in peace and spirit, literally none of these guys will ever have the career of The Miz, right? And aside from Bray Wyatt, who obviously was a multiple-time champion, undeservedly so if you ask me, but nevertheless, right? Nobody else involved in this entire menagerie of jobbers will ever sniff the world title. Bo Dallas will never be a world champion. Eric Rowan has a couple of months left on his contract, I bet, before he gets released. He's, a, he's an idiot in a, in a bunny mask. He adds nothing to this show. Nothing. Eric Rowan has never contributed anything to anything he's ever done in wrestling, right? And I'm not trying to be, be hard on Rowan or Dexter Loomis. I get it. The, basically, this is a last-ditch effort of shit. Gacy, Loomis, and Rowan, we're going to hire him back. All these guys have like six, seven months in their contract. Fuck it. Put them together. Let's see if we can sell some T-shirts. That's obviously what it is. It's not a serious stable, right? But nevertheless, motherfucks, nevertheless, you, you, you do not disrespect your WWE champion, your former champion like this. The Miz is afraid of Bo Dallas? Bo Dallas, who has won like a, a, a total of like seven matches his whole career. Bo Dallas, who's, who was employed by the company for like 15 years and has won like five matches and lost hundreds. This guy's supposed to scare The Miz, who main evented against Cena. What the fuck are you people smoking, motherfucks? This is the problem that I have. The Miz, if I were The Miz or The Miz's agents, I'd, I'd be like, hold on a second. Here, I would print out pictures of everyone involved in the Final Testament as well as in the, the, the wide six. And I would take these pictures and go to Triple H's office and, and, and go to him and be like, look at this guy, this is Eric Owen, Eric Rowan. He looks like shit. He's never drawn you a dime. Throw the, throw the picture away. Here's Acom and Razor. They both have just gained weight and come back. They don't do anything at all. They're taking your money doing nothing, right? Here's Karrion Cross. He grew out his hair. He thinks that's something that makes him interesting. It doesn't. He's got weird tattoos. Get rid of him, right? He can just go to Triple H and just show him just straight up be like, here's a picture of, of the person you're pushing over me, motherfucks. You're pushing Bo Dallas, my lackey, over me. Have you lost your mind? You're pushing Dexter Loomis, a white guy with a mustache and dreadlocks. Are you, have you lost your mind? Joe Gacy comes out in a pig mask and is fat. He's never lifted a weight in his life. You're pushing this guy over the Miz? Like the Miz would murder this guy, right? Well, that, that, that's nothing here or there. Because, you know, obviously, like, Razor and Akum would murder the rest of these guys. So it's not, it's not just about that. But you understand what I'm getting at. The point I'm trying to get at is this. You cannot have this kind of, like, weird-ass, like, multiple chances at becoming something when it's not meant to be, motherfucks. It's not meant to be for anybody involved here. And the fact that you're willing to, like, humiliate the Miz really goes to show that the WWE title is completely meaningless, right? It doesn't take anything special to become WWE champion as presented to us through the Miz, Right? According to what we're seeing now, the WWE Champion tomorrow can be threatened successfully by Karrion Cross, who has, I think on the main roster, he has like two wins and like 150,000 losses over the last like five years. Like this guy who's, who's literally the least achieving wrestler of all time. Like Karrion Cross, I really do believe, is the least achieving, he's not the worst wrestler, but he's achieved the less, like in terms of like main roster stuff. He's done nothing, motherfucks. He's done nothing. All he's done is come to the main roster and he went from NXT champion to colossal jobber. And this guy's supposed to scare The Miz? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Like, I'm surprised The Miz, being the soldier that he is, doesn't just leave and go to AEW. Like, what the fuck am I doing here? This is a complete waste of time. Like, like, like you are not going to push Bo Dallas, you know, off of my, my hard work. 
It's Bo Dallas, motherfucks. It's Bo Dallas, one of the worst wrestlers of all time. This guy looks like he's missing a chromosome. Like Bo Dallas is going to get a, a push over the Miz? Have you people lost your minds? That's what he needs to do. This is unacceptable for your boy. You know, and I hate everything about this. I hate this entire storyline. I really hope that everyone involved, except for the Miz, just gets released. So I don't have to watch this bullshit. Because they're going to get released anyways. Like, none of these guys, like, in five years, none of these guys are going to be here. Except, but the Miz might. The Miz might be. Like, what do you think the odds are that in five years, Joe Gacy is, is, is with this company? Almost zero. Ray Rowan, Ray Rowan, what the fuck's his name? Um, um, Eric Rowan is going to be released and hired again probably like three times in the next five years. Which is what happens to him. So get the fuck out of here, you know what I mean? Give the Miz some respect, motherfucks. Give the Miz some respect.